the Theban Legionnaire. A name that is still world renowned, an enhaloed face in shadows drowned, a tale once heralded too long concealed from view. From Thebes to Rome, then marched the Gaul, 6,600 men led in all by a man who let his heart tell him what he could and could not do. Of innocence, there'd be no human offering to Rome's gods, its emperor, or any earthly king, regardless of the consequence this choice would clearly bring. So, a martyr made from a man of war, a leader oft decorated was twice decimated, as one in ten once and again were forced to pay the price. Such dignity and instinctive discipline was shown by a true leader and his men as all were forced into the greatest sacrifice, that he was canonised, yeah, made a saint, immortalised in stone and paint, you might have thought forever he had made his mark. But later, his golden illustrations were taken down for fear brown skin upheld could confuse folk in every town. These scenes were quietly recast with players not quite so dark. An Egyptian, a Roman, and an early Christian too. His story's entirety has not been entirely given the respect that it's due, as even his own church for centuries chose to hide his skin's true hue. So 18 centuries on, now only poets tell the tale of these black saints and their leader that from North Africa did hail. In fact, many today doubt that his legend is even true. But let's leave the fact checking to those with fat checks it befits. Hear hearts speak, not heads. Instead, try to write for him an epitaph that knits together the bravery of the Theban legion and the legend that is. Saint Moritz.